And speaking of exporting things, people often ask BARD for a head start drafting emails and documents. So today, we are launching two more export actions, making it easy to move BARD responses right into Gmail and Docs. So we're excited by how quickly BARD and the underlying models are improving, but we're not stopping there. We want to bring more capabilities to BARD to fuel your curiosity and imagination. And so I'm excited to announce that tools are coming to BARD. <laughs> As you collaborate with BARD, you'll be able to tap into services from Google and extensions with partners to let you do things never before possible. And of course, we'll approach this responsibly in a secure and private way, letting you always stay in control. We're starting with some of the Google apps that people love and use every day. It's incredible what Bard can already do with text, but images are such a fundamental part of how we learn and express. So in the next few weeks, Bard will become more visual, both in its responses and your prompts. So if you ask, what are some must-see sites in New Orleans? Bard's going to use Google Search and the Knowledge Graph to find the most relevant images. OK, here we go. The French Quarter, the Garden District. These images are really giving me a much better sense of what I'm exploring. We'll also make it easy for you to prompt Bard with images, giving you even more ways to explore and create. People love Google Lens, and in the coming months, we're bringing in the powers of Lens to Bard. So, <laughs> so if you're looking to have some fun with your fur babies, you might upload an image and ask Bard to write a funny caption about these two. Now, Lens detects that this is a photo of a goofy German Shepherd and a Golden Retriever, and then Bard uses that to create some funny captions. If you ask me, I think they're both good boys. OK, now let's do another one. Imagine I'm 18 and I need to apply to college. I won't date myself with how long it's been, but it's still an overwhelming process. So I'm thinking about colleges, but I'm not sure what I want to focus on. I'm into video games, and what kinds of programs might be interesting? OK, this is a helpful head start. Hmm. Animation looks pretty interesting. Now I could ask, help me find colleges with animation programs in Pennsylvania. OK, great. That's a good list of schools. Now to see where these are, I might now say, show these on a map. Here, Bard's going to use Google Maps to visualize where the schools are. This is super helpful, and it's exciting to see that there's plenty of options not too far from home. Now let's start organizing things a bit. Show these options as a table. Nice. Structured and organized, but there's more I want to know. Add a column showing whether they're public or private schools. Perfect. This is a great start to build on. And now let's move this to Google Sheets so my family can jump in later to help me with my search. You can see how easy it will be to get a jump start in BARD and quickly have something useful to move over to apps like Docs or Sheets to build on.